Hello everyone, my name is uh, Olivier Jimenez. I work in uh, Montpellier in France at the National Center for Scientific Research. And you may find me uh, on uh, Twitter or GitHub. Occupancy is defined as the proportion of area occupied by a species. It is a key indicator variable in ecology and conservation that we use a lot to characterize the status of wildlife systems. And occupancy is relevant for all sorts of living organisms, from paddlelands to uh, elephants. However, standard models ignore time variation in occupancy. Colonization and extension can be considered, but make models more complex. Then the question is, how to model trends in occupancy? Well, Dennis and collaborators proposed to estimate occupancy per year using static models, then to regress these estimates over time. Uh, Isaac and colleagues went for a fully Bayesian approach and used random effects to model time variation. Uh, Outhwaite and colleagues uh, used a random work model to share information between the current and previous years. And recently, Rushing and colleagues added a special generalized additive component to these models. Here, we build on these models and propose uh, to have a GAM like occupancy model. Briefly speaking, we model occupancy at site i in your t, uh, psi, as a function f of uh, time t, like in the work by Dennis, Isaac, and Alfred. This function f is possibly uh, nonlinear. We have a function, the function g of space x and y, possibly nonlinear, like in the work by Rushing. And we add an interaction of time uh, and space through function h, possibly uh, nonlinear too. In a nutshell, uh, GAMs rely on splines, and splines are bits of uh, lines or curves that are joined together based on the patterns in the data. Technically, we went fully Bayesian. Uh, we got the spline structure using the JAGAM package, Nimble for implementation, and WAIC for model comparison. Um, as a case study, we considered a large carnivore, the Eurasian lynx, uh, because knowing where these animals are can help in mitigating conflicts with human activities. Here are the lynx uh, detections for three years on the map, from 1994 on the left uh, to 2016 on the right. We used forest cover as a covariate, possibly explaining special variation in occupancy. <coughs> and, oops, sorry. And we also accommodated smooth temporal variation and spatial variation, unexplained by forest cover using GAMS with our new uh, model. Let's see some results. Well, occupancy increased with increasing forest cover, where forest cover uh, is probably a proxy for predictability, Rodi mainly for links. We found a nonlinear trend in estimated occupancy over time, with some good years, two good years in particular, the bumps here. Uh, but a clear decrease in recent years, which might be due to a collision with cars and poaching. When we look at the probability of occupancy in space and time, this decreasing trend was confirmed with more yellows as we uh, go forward. In conclusion, our approach is flexible to model trends in occupancy. We can easily get maps of uncertainty because we went fully Bayesian. Overall, this approach provides a way to standardize the production of ecological indicators, and as such, we're currently exploring uh, its applications to other large carnivores, uh, wolves and, and, uh, and bears in particular. <clears throat>